Yes, today we are back with the next part of Jaded Love by the amazing author Brie on the episode Choose Your Story app. If you have not seen the other ones, there'll be a little playlist and an info around here somewhere. But let me tell you, the last one ended with our little quarterback is in love with us. It's going real cute. The heat is there. It's there. The spark is there. It hasn't completely lit yet, but it's really there. But, you know, we're not going to let a man tell us what to do. We're going to the club, wearing what we want, except it might have not been the best idea because we ran into our ex. Ivy, our main character, is pretty much very broken inside because of her ex. What he did, don't know. But it has hurt her so badly that she does not trust anybody else. And for her fun girls night out, well, not girls and boys night out, she ran into him. So we're about to see what happens here, but I hope you guys enjoy. Please go follow the amazing author Brie. Her Instagram is in my description box down below. If you enjoy this video, please consider giving it a like as it helps me out a lot. Subscribe if you haven't already, and let's start the drama. Ivy. Okay, so this is Connor. No, no, no. Holy shit, I can't believe it's you, Ivy. Your sister said you left. I have to go. Oh, no, wait. Oh, our friend, I don't think so, Gemma. Gemma's jumping in. She got our back. You lost a chance to run after her a long time ago. Stay away from her, Connor. You've done enough damage. Oh, our friend, Gemma. Gemma just went up in my book. That's a friend right there. Are you kidding me? This has to be some cruel, sick joke. Why? Why of all people that I have to run into him? I was hoping, praying to never have to see him again. Just the sight of him makes my stomach twist and turn in agony. Just his voice brings back the memories. The betrayal. All the weeks I spent crying over him. All the months I spent blaming myself. Wondering why I wasn't good enough. Wondering what I could have done differently. He broke me. Beyond repair. Tore me down brick by brick until there was nothing left but an empty shell. An empty shell attached to deserted soul. A deserted soul instead of a girl who has nothing left to give. Because he took it all. He took everything from me. But only because I was stupid enough to give him everything. He's the reason I'm so messed up. He's the reason I have vowed to never love again. I hate him. I hate his guts. Okay, so... We found out a little bit more. So Connor is the person, very clearly, she just said it, that broke her. What did he do, though? What did he do, this piece of trash... Who is he? And what did he do? I just ran into my ex. Oh, girl, that's the worst. F him. You don't need him. Yeah, I'm so sick of these guys thinking they can just treat us any way they want to. Forget him, girl. You deserve the best. Spill the tea, Miss Pink Hair Mermaid Princess. You know what would make you feel better? What? Shots. First round on me. Come on. Oh, we're making friends in here. They have our back. Everyone's being so sweet to us. You know what? They're right. I deserve better than that asshole. He's ruined so much for me and I can't know. I won't give him the power to ruin tonight for me either. Hey, wait up. Okay, so we're gonna go try to have fun. This is good. I thought this was gonna end bad. But she's about to have fun. Let's hope this can have a positive spin to it. Jagger, you will never believe who's here. Who? Connor. Who's Connor? Ivy's ex. Oh gosh, where is she? She ran off, we have to find her. Is this Connor guy bad news or something? You could say that. He destroyed her. She wouldn't leave the house for months after they broke up. This is not good. She's come such a long way since their breakup. I don't want this to set her back. Let's go look for her. Hopefully they find her in a good mood. I get it, girl. Where? Get down from there, Ivy. Hey guys, come on up. How much have you had to drink? Oh, lost count. But next round's on me. Oh my gosh, I think you've had enough, Ivy. She's just having fun, guys. I know I need a few shots after running into my shitty ex, too. Faith, you don't get it. Connor is the only one who can bring certain emotions out of Ivy. And it's amplified when she's drunk. Just wait in a second, she'll be... Oh no. Crying her eyes out. Asshole jerk face. They all are stupid boys. They're all a bunch of asshole jerk faces. Well, we were having fun. 
it took the turn. I was hoping the positivity would really just last, but it crashed instead. Ugh, shouldn't they be home by now? It's late and I can't help but start to worry. It's 3 a.m. Faith, where are you? Um, we have a bit of a problem. Ivy ran into her ex and she's... Oh, we're going through a lot of emotions. We're going up, we're going down. It's like the dance and the fun, the grind. Well, I don't really know what's going on, but she's a bit of a mess. Her ex, boyfriend, no link in her ex parole officer. <laughs> Obviously her ex-boyfriend. I guess you really messed her up. We don't know what to do. She's not listening to anyone. One minute she's dancing and buying shots for everyone. The next she's crying and screaming how many shit. I mean, she's not lying. Jesus, I told you this wasn't a good idea. I'm on my way. Okay, so he's gonna try to save the day, but I'm scared because she's not into a men sort of... Who is this in the background here? What is he trying to do? Get away from my skirt. Over there. Eyes over there. Please get down, Ivy. What's with the shades? I told you I'm not supposed to be out, and I can't deal with fans tonight. Well, good luck with Ivy. I still have some partying to do. <laughs> She threaded her stuff right out back there. You know what? Get it, sis. Hey, guys, I can take it from here. Link. Oh, thank goodness. Maybe you can get her to come down. We're going to stay a bit longer. We'll call a cab home. Okay, so Lincoln is, hey, hot stuff. Let me buy you a drink. No, I wasn't. No. What's your prop? No. Now go away. You can. Bye-bye. Do you want to see what happens when I have to repeat myself? Yeah, I didn't think so either. Out. We gotta help Pumpkin. Don't you think it's time for you to get down from there? Oh, wait. Lincoln. Oh. Oh, no. I'm surprised they haven't cut her off yet. I'm surprised they didn't say no more drinks. It's done. I got you. You've been coming to my rescue a lot lately. I don't mind. You know the bartender that has to work by there. What she's dancing on the counter is probably like, oh, my gosh, someone's security. If you need me, I'll be there, sweetie. Now let's get you home. No, I don't want to go home yet. I like your house better. That's that's what I meant. You know what they say, home is where the heart is. <laughs> oh, I love how he's still... Oh, no, that was Lincoln Fox. Who's Lincoln Fox? What, do you live under a rock? He's only the greatest quarterback of our generation. Oh, I should have asked for a picture. Oh, no, they have, they have video proof. Faith told me that you ran into your ex. Do you want to talk about it? Talk about it. He, he's an asshole. And I deserve better than him. Oh, you did. And you, you got better. You have Lincoln Fox right there. Sweet, kind, caring, handsome, sexy, everything right next to you. I'm just so stupid for letting him break me. I won't allow you to talk about yourself like that. It's never too late and you're not ruined, Pumpkin. Don't let anyone make you feel like that. Especially some idiot who clearly was too stupid to see how incredible you are. I'm not incredible, Lincoln. That's what makes you so incredible, Sweepy. You don't even realize it. You don't realize how just how perfect you are. Oh, he's so sweet. We're here waiting for me. I'll come around and get you. I wonder... Oh. No. Must you defy me, woman? Must you always be in control, man? Oh. That last shot just hit me, and she hit the pavement while she was at it. She bit it. See, I was just trying to prevent you from hurting yourself. What is later this night about to hold? Because she's about to fall asleep in his bed, and you know the morning after is going to be a shock. So, as much as I would love to keep the sleeping beauty in my arms forever, she's had a long night and needs her sleep. I Oh, she, oh, he's putting her in the other bed. Okay, I lean her over slightly to place her on the bed, but I straighten back up when I feel her arms gently squeeze my shoulders. Hmm. I lean over once more, but as soon as I do, I feel her squeeze me again. This time tighter. Like she's holding on for dear life. Like she's scared to be let down again. Maybe metaphorically, maybe literally. Either way. I'd be lying if I just said my stomach didn't just feel a million wild butterflies as my heart did a backflip, or ten. It's probably the intoxication that's made her hold on to me in a way I know her sober self would never allow. But hey, I'll take it. Are you fake sleeping? Mm, never put me down. You need sleep, you've had a rough night. But you're so comfy. I told you, you fit perfectly in my arms. Like we're, I don't know, meant to fit together or something. The smooth moves are always there for Mr. Fox. Sweet dreams. Lincoln? Yes, Cupcake? Can I ask you something? Anything? What's this gonna be? Why do you like me so much? I'm a bit taken back by your question. 
Why wouldn't I like her? She has everything I could ever want in a woman. She's smart and silly, sweet but strong, wows in a way that keeps me on my toes, but guarded in a way that keeps me curious. A mysterious puzzle I am slowly but surely putting together, and I hate to say it, but I've quickly become addicted to that spicy attitude of hers. Hooked like a new drug that just hit the streets I can't get enough. And I mean, come on, look at her. She's gorgeous. She'll never know how difficult it is for me to keep my hands off of her. I don't know how to respond to her question. There are just too many reasons why I like her so much. What's not to like, Ivy? I guess I'm just wondering, why me? You've been so good to me and it's not something I'm used to. I would never be anything but good to you, Pumpkin. I... I can't explain it. Oh, not like that. I just mean, it's hard to put into words. It's a feeling, you know? I just got this feeling when I first saw you at the wedding, like I had to know you, like I had to have you. Not that you're an object or anything, I just couldn't help myself. I wanted to stare at you for hours and talk to you for days. I wanted to know everything that makes you smile so I could make sure you're always happy. Oh, I wanted to know everything that caused all that sadness in your eyes so I could make sure it never hurt you again. He cares so much about her. I don't know, this is all new to me. I probably sound crazy. You make me feel things I've never felt before. Good things. Great things. Things I wasn't sure I was capable of feeling. Until you. I'm scared, Lincoln. I can't take being hurt again. I just can't. Oh, Pumpkin, I would never hurt you. You gotta believe me. I mean it with all my heart. I'm, I'm praying for her that he doesn't hurt her. Don't do anything messy, Lincoln. Give me a chance, Ivy. Be with me. Be my- Oh, we asking questions. Oh my gosh. Well, she's gonna have to answer when uh, she's sober. I knew it. The truth always comes out when you're back. Uh, Faith walks in. My bad. Didn't mean to interrupt your little moment. Just wanted to let you know that I'm here and I'm staying over again. See you guys in the morning. I like how Faith was just like, bye guys. It's fine. Think about what I said, okay? Sleep well, gorgeous. I hope she thinks about this because they're so perfect for each other. I still don't know what Connor did. Connor was trash, so we still don't know this tea, though. Oh, we dreaming. Give me a chance, Ivy. Be with me, be mine. Is this what she... Okay. <laughs> okay, so this is her dream of what... Oh, she's having a very interesting dream if she had said okay. Sober up a little. What the? Did I just kiss him? Did she kiss him in real life? Or no. Maybe. I don't know. We'll find out here right now. Next morning. Let's see what she's like. Probably hungover. Ugh, I feel like crap. This hungover has me feeling, and I'm sure looking like death. And after my little dream last night, I couldn't get back to sleep. I couldn't stop thinking about what Lincoln said. I couldn't stop thinking about what a real kiss from him would feel like. Okay, so it wasn't real. Oh my gosh, what am I thinking? I can't kiss him. I shouldn't ever be thinking about kissing him. But you know you want to. Come on, just do it, Ivy. The crowd is ready. Do it. His lips do look delicious, don't they? Okay, I've officially lost my mind. I need to get dressed and get some greasy food into my system. The best cure. Maybe that will make me think in straight. Okay, let's look at our outfit choices. Oh, that's a cute one. Outfit two pure pink and then outfit three you know even though i like the all gray let's give her a little pop of color but keep the black in there it's perfect looks amazing there you go sis walk out there cute day after a lincoln meeting and oh that's the um yes pancakes i made you and lincoln breakfast i thought you two could eat together Oh my gosh, you're the best, Lisa. I'm starving and exhausted. I barely slept last night. Someone on your mind, sweet pea? It was you, Lincoln. It was you, Mr. Fox. He says in amused tone while he pops his head to the side and a grin slides across those delicious lips I've been dreaming about. His eyes sparkle in a way that tells me he already knows my answer. No. I decided to lie anyway. No way in hell I'm going to admit that he is the reason I've been having trouble sleeping. Well... Someone was on my mind. In fact, that certain someone is always on my mind. In my dreams, in my thoughts. Everywhere I look, everywhere I go. Lisa's like, oh my gosh, this is so romantic in the background. Strange, right? You wouldn't have any idea what that feels like. Would you? She's like, um, no. Just eat your pancakes. Don't you have football stuff to do? I'm training from home today. Wanna join? Uh... No thanks, I am. Um, 
Truth is, I don't think being in the same room with a shirtless, sweaty Lincoln is a good idea. That image is the last thing I need invading my dreams tonight, even though I'm sure it would be a glorious one. Come on, Ivy. A good run on the treadmill make you make you feel better. And I hear Link is a great workout partner. Are they going to get lots of workout and exercise? Doing other things. Fine, but only because Lisa's right. A good run will help though with this hangover. Lisa is Miss Matchmaker over there. She's hype. Her little kids are about to do all this. This is your home gym. It's huge. How nice. How nice to have that house. If I had a nickel... Must you turn everything into something? Maybe you just have a dirty mind. Maybe you just have a dirty mouth. Maybe we... Ah, ah, never. Never is a very long time, Pumpkin. Are you sure you can resist me for that long? No, she gonna crumble one of these days. The cookie about to crumble, and he about to eat it all up. Jesus, what a mesmerizing sight. How am I supposed to concentrate on my workout when... He's looking at her and how pretty she is. Oh my gosh, maybe this wasn't such a great idea. She looks absolutely heavenly with little sweat droplets glistening on her forehead. I can see her chest inflate and deflate as her breathing picks up. I have to look away, but I can't. My eyes are like magnets. An unintentional groan leaves my body. He's trying to refocus y'all, but it ain't happening. She looks utterly edible. There's no way I'm getting through this workout. This was his choice. He wanted this. <clears throat> oh, <laughs> Get a grip, Link. If I didn't show up just now, you would have drowned in a puddle of your own drool. Hey, is that my shirt? Yeah, I don't have a change of clothes. Hey, Faith. Oh, so we're <laughs> He's back. He's like, oh my gosh. You know, she's worth more than happened up. Ooh. Are you serious? Jesus, Faith, is that what you really you think of me? You think that's my only attention with her? I don't know what to think. I've never seen you like this before. You've never really liked a girl before. You're right, she's different. Well, I really like her, so you better treat her right. Oh, I plan to. Just have to get her to give me a chance first. It's gonna happen one day. It'll happen. It'll happen. We're gonna make it happen. I'm gonna pick the option to make it happen. Do you plan to sit here and stare at me all day? You must not realize how beautiful you are when you're lost in a book. Like when your eyes widen as you read something exciting. Or when you chew the inside of your cheek as you think about what could happen next. Oh, my favorite. When your cheeks flush with the most adorable shade of red during those steamy scenes. She's like, oh, wow. He really is paying attention. Well, aren't you observant? Or I just enjoy watching you. Both. Lincoln! I'm so sorry, Link. I try to stop her, but you know how she gets. What is she yelling about now? I guess footage of you at a club is all over the news. Everyone's trying to figure out who the mystery girl you were with is. Oh no. Oh, Lincoln, you better have one hell of an explanation. Who is she? His publicist from hell. Oh dear.